So today we're going to be taking a look at Mara Jade based upon her appearance from the book Dark Force Rising or at least that's what it's noted on the package here. Obviously the image of Mara Jade we have here and the action figure we actually have uh, don't seem to line up 100%. Um, as far as I know I think she had a more of a bluish suit here or at least that's how it appears to be. And then of course her headscarf is up which is not the case on this one. But regardless, I am very happy that we finally have Mara Jade in the Black Series. She's been a long time coming. Lots of fans have been wanting her for a long time. And now that Hasbro is starting to recognize the EU again and gain more EU characters in the Black Series line, no better character to pick than Mara Jade, who, if you didn't know, up until this point was uh, Luke Skywalker's future wife in the Expanding Universe, and they eventually have a child named Ben Skywalker, who's kind of based on uh, Ben Solo, I think, from the Forgotten sequel trilogy. Uh, so, very interesting character, one of the fan favorites from the Expanding Universe. She's one of my favorite characters. Um, would be nice if she can get the TVC treatment here soon. We'll see. I have, somehow I suspect that Hasbro will get to Mirror Jade eventually. Would be nice, who knows, maybe it's a fat chance, we'll see. But anyways, this is a nice action figure. Um, we'll start off here taking a look at the package. Like I said, this is, uh, I forget which book this is in the Thrawn trilogy. It may be book, uh, uh, I'm not even going to bother to. And it's been a while since I've looked at them, but Dark Force Rising I know is one of them. It's a nice image of Mara Jade there. Like I said, not totally reflective of the action figure we have here. This actually looks closer to the three and three quarter inch black series one that we have. And I do have that figure reviewed on the channel as well. Mara Jade. Some nice images of her again there. So at this point, she became a smuggler. Um, a little more about her backstory. She was an emperor's hand, similar to Lumia. And basically, she was like a... Kind of like the Inquisitor before the Inquisitors were much of a thing for the Emperor Palpatine. And of course, a uh, most trusted assassin. And of course, um, her and Luke were rivals for many years. And at this point, again, she's... Basically turned away from the dark side, and she bumps on Luke Skywalker again. They fall in love, get married, um, and she does eventually become a Jedi Master and sits on the Jedi Council with Luke. And if you know anything about her story, she does uh, Jaina Solo, of course, Han and Leia's daughter, uh, becomes her apprentice. Or her Padawan, I should say. So very interesting character. She has a lot of uh, lore in the EU line. So this is the second action figure I've gotten with the Windowless package. And like I've mentioned previously in the AFRA review, I'm not really impressed with it. I think this is a big mistake on Hasbro's part. And I think it's ultimately going to hurt their sales. And it might hurt the Black Series line altogether because of those lack of sales we'll see how the future turns out it may take a couple years for it to really come full circle but i just don't see this really working out for hasbro i like to be able to see my action figure before i purchase it and now as soon as i get it i feel i have to open it because i want to make sure all the paint apps look good all the accessories are there and they even have a little tab on there now Plastic free packaging, except tape and glue. And it's in various languages as well. More images. And like I said, too, I'm glad that Hasbro is doing the height of the actual action figure now on the package. I think that's a nice detail that they've included. So that's the package. Let's take a look at this action figure. Like I said, I really like this. I'm glad that we finally had Mara Jade in the Black Series collection. I always knew 
Hasbro probably would get to it eventually after we got like Nihilus, for example, and the Republic Commandos. So it's nice that we finally have her. So I like the head sculpt. I think it looks really good. The hair sculpt looks pretty good too. I know um, a lot of people aren't happy with the uh, three and three quarter inch black series Mary Jade's hairstyle with the 80s hair. Personally, I really like it. I like the hairstyle, so it's a win-win for me. This one's pretty good too. Kind of has a little bit of that going. Not quite as fluffed as that one, but still pretty good. And I have seen some samples where some people's uh, hair samples were not placed on the head properly and it looks a little off, like she has a receding hairline or maybe she has too big of a hairline, for example. So that's one thing to watch out for. But the paint detailing looks really good. The face printing turned out really nice. She has this uh, scarf, which I assume is her head scarf there, and her goggles, which unfortunately can't be removed. I think that's just a sculpted piece of her, or well, they can't be removed, but there's nothing you can do with it. You can't put it on her head, unfortunately, and I don't. You can't put her goggles on. It does look like she has a harness here of some sorts as well. Not really used for it, but I guess. More detailing. And she has this all black jumpsuit, kind of similar to the three and three quarter inch figure. Holster there with her blaster. And she does have a hook for a lightsaber there as well. Arms turned out really good. Uh, the joints are well hidden enough to where it's not distracting. So in terms of the articulation, she does have a ball joint at the head there. Kind of restricted because of her hair, but not really a big deal. Uh, hinged shoulders, which have pretty good range of motion. Hinged elbows, which go about a little past 90 degrees. Then she has hinged wrists, which this one goes up and down, and this one goes in and out. Good joint at the torso there. So she is reusing a lot of parts from the Jaina Solo action figure. I think this is kind of the... Same case for the Dr. Afro that was released in this wave as well. Borrowing a lot of parts from Jaina Solo. But she also does have the hinged hips and the swivel thigh double hinge at the knee there because of the two pins there. Then uh, rocker ankles as well. In terms of accessories, she does come with a blaster here. Kind of similar... I think it's pretty much about the same exact blaster that the Dr. Afra has. In fact, let me get that out right now and let's see what they look like side by side. So yeah, I think that's pretty much the same exact blaster, just repainted. Hmm. Not sure if that's accurate or not, which blaster is accurate to who or if either one's even accurate at all. But That's pretty interesting. Kind of looks similar to Han Solo's blaster, like I mentioned with Afro. But there is nice detailing in that. Nice detailing in that barrel as well. And it fits well in her holster. And for a lightsaber here, as far as I know, I think that's a pretty much a unique hilt. Nice purple blade. Which is accurate to Mara. And I think that hilt looks pretty good. Like I said, I don't think that's been used before. I think this was a good choice on Hasbro's part. Of course, you can take the blade out. And she has this hook for her hilt here. And it fits around there really nice. And you could probably get some nice poses out of this here. At least you can get it where she you can look like she's uh, drawing her blaster and maybe reaching for a lightsaber at the same time. And I think she's actually just borrowing the same belt as uh, from Afro here. Yeah, looks about the same. I 
Well, overall, it's a really nice action figure. Um, would I recommend Mary J for your collection? I definitely would, even if uh, you don't really know much about the, uh, about the character. Or if you're just getting to the EU, or maybe you're not into the EU even. I still think she's an uh, important part of Star Wars history. After all, she did become Luke Skywalker's wife, at least in the expanding universe she did. Uh, we don't really count what Disney's done with Luke Skywalker in the sequel trilogy, but um, I like to think that Luke became Grandmaster of the New Jedi Order, married Mary Jade, and then had a son with her named Ben Skywalker. I highly doubt we'll ever get Ben Skywalker in the Black Series line, but it would be really cool if we did. There are some customs out there I've seen for the th three and three quarter inch for Ben Skywalker. Uh, so that might be the way to go for the six inch figure. But uh, with that being said, I would recommend Mary Jade for your collection. She's a nice action figure and a nice addition to the Black Series six inch line. She's been a long time coming. But anyways, that concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more reviews in the future. There will be plenty more to come. And if you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate all the support. And if you haven't already, check out the Instagram link in the description as well. More will be coming on that soon. Thanks for watching.